Hello class, today we want to quickly uh, draft our color and our stand. What you need to do is to take the measurement of your back neck and the front neck. How do you do that? I'll quickly show us how to do that. For the back neck, you measure from here, here, follow the curve, follow the curve to him. You take that measurement. Then the next one, the center front, you measure from the curve, you measure to E1, you, you write down the measurement because that's what we'll be using now. So when you have the measurement, you rule a straight line. Because I already have the line, this line here, that is why I want to use it. You rule the straight line. So, as a guide, so I'll, I'll, I'll make here A. So the first thing first is I'll measure the center back measurement somewhere here. This is the center back. Then I'll measure the center front measurement as well, which is somewhere here. And the height of the collar is 3.5 inches. That is, the stand we take one and a half or one three eight, while the the four we take two inches. So now we measure. The now I'm I want to measure the stand. You roll it downwards in this direction. Mm -hmm. You roll it in this direction. Connect this and also connect this. Remember, this is the center front and uh, this is the center back. I mean, sorry, this is the shoulder side because the sh they need to meet at the sh at the shoulder point. And this is the center back. So I'll make here A and uh, B and C. Now for, for the four, you measure, I've already used one and a half. You measure your four, two inches. You take it down to just the same way we did the first one. You take it down. So this is the four, and this is the stand. I hope that is clear. Now you know the shirt has has some extension in the front, the extension in the front for button wrapper from button stand. So all you need to do from C, you measure out three quarter inch. You measure out three quarter inch because at the end of the day, by the time you wrap the the, the extension, it's going to remain that. So I'll make this D. Now we've gotten A, B, C, D. The next thing we're going to do is to, to locate our E. On D, you measure upward. You measure upward half inch. You measure upward half inch. Sherry, this is E. Then when you do that, you connect E to B. You connect it in, in this form with your curve. The curve part is not straight. Can we say that? Then you use this to connect. Can you say that? To connect. Let me make this E1 from this angle here. You connect to... E is very simple. Can you see that? At the end of the day, this is where the button, the button will stay. So the next thing we are going to do is to work on. Remember, this is half inch. Is to work on this uh, the four. What do we need to do? All you need to do is you to raise this up, to raise the top. By uh, by one inch, by one inch, by one inch. So at the end of the day, from E to E two, we have three inches. And if you feel it's too, uh, you can reduce it. Then you mark the center, this center, which is the shoulder. Then I'll make here a one. I hope I'm making sense. 
then you connect you connect in this direction can you see you connect you connect in this direction so our color is ready our color is ready it's very ready but if you feel you you can as well adjust uh, this side of it with just quarter you can take it in by quarter that is e1 you take you you take it in by quarter inch quarter inch so at the end of the day you have your color in this form can you see so it's very simple e1 to e2 is three inches from uh a1 to a2 is two inches this is the four this is the stand and uh b to to e is connected by raising by raising d upward to e with one we well, sorry with half inch so this is our color and our stand how do we get the stand away from the color but for for a starter i would say it's better to stitch together first for you to understand how to go about it first you stitch together but i'll show us the only way you can separate this two is to follow a1 take it to e e2 down to e e1 this new e1 where we took uh, we took out a quarter then you go on this way to a2 that is you separated the four from the stand now for the stand to trace out you start from a2 to a a2 to a you you go down in this direction can you see what i'm doing in this direction to e down to b and down to a remember to mark this point because that is where the shoulder the shoulder will meet the shoulder the shoulder that is the center back must was be key to the shoulder uh the shoulder seam so that's the end of our collar that's our collar both the fold and the stand so i'll show us how to get our call from our sleeve thank you all these tools you can get them at wajo kutcher or at fashion tools 44 they are cheap and affordable you can easily reach us at wajo kutcher on all social media thanks for watching